Welcome to American Trailhead. I'm Michael Reeder, and today I'm super excited because SAR sent us the 109T. Let's take a look at it. First, it was shipped to us, obviously in a cardboard box, but this is the case that came with it. And it's a very sturdy case. It came with a handle on the top side, wheels on the bottom side. So on a case like this, definitely a nice little feature to have. So getting into the box, let's go ahead and tear into it. <clears throat> All right. Just as a as disclosure, uh, we just got this in. So we haven't had time to take it to the range yet. We're gonna get it to the range, and when we get it there, we'll get you guys some feedback on our thoughts, how it shot, and then um, do a video and let you guys know how it performed. So let's go ahead and get back into what has come to us. Um, standard SAR, the SAR 109 user's manual. SAR USA lock, weapons lock. And this comes with a very nice uh, cleaning kit that you can attach to a belt or a pack. Um, two bore brushes, one nylon, one looks like brass. Then we have four cleaning rods. And it also has two bore wipes and your snake, boar snake. Very nice feature. Okay, um, also in the box, we have three metal Colt mags. Does show 32 round window. That'll be fun. SAR swag. And least but not last, the pistol itself. <clears throat> there we go. Now, before we get on to the pistol, the case does come pre-cut. Um, it does have uh, cutouts for everything that, uh, you, that we've described so far, but it does have more cutouts for two additional mags. So you'd be able to fit five in here total with its uh, own little storage spots. Uh, there are also a couple other square cutouts in here that you can pull out, put in cleaning gear, head, uh, hearing protection, anything else, or a box of ammo, whatnot. <clears throat> so, on to the pistol. Um, overall, uh, overall construction on it, very sturdy. Um, it's got a little hand guard on it. Very nice, um, you know, it's not loose. The upper and the lowers are solid pieces. Um, and one of the things I've noticed in the um, kind of that fit and finish, even the castle nut has been uh, staked, um, not just once, but twice. Um, so that's uh, very interesting to see. Um, kind of goes into Sar Slamaz military heritage on making sure that when they assemble a weapon, that it's not going to fall apart on you. So that's a nice little feature to see. Um, starting on the back side, uh, it has a standard pistol buffer tube, um, smooth. Um, then once you head up to, <clears throat> um, by the castle nut, we have two QD mounts. And these QD mounts are, are extremely nice. Um, we did have a chance to fit some QDs into it. And that thickness, uh, the, at the manufacturer, they made sure that that thickness was a, the right thickness for the QD mount to fit in there. It's not too thin that the QD mount wobbles back and forth. That's a solid lockup when you put the QD mount in. Uh, so that's definitely a nice feature. It is for left-handed shooters and right-handed shooters. Um, on this side, we have the mag release. A lot of the, the features on this uh, pistol are kind of what we're all familiar with as far as a standard AR style. Um, mag release is in the same location. Um, switching to this side, we have the bolt catch, 
the select lever and also noticing that the safe and semi um, have been color coordinated uh, which is very nice it helps it stand out for a nice visual check to see what condition that your weapon system's in um, <clears throat> rifle grip very nice ergonomic rifle grip that uh, anytime that you grab a SARS firearm that's one of the things that they've really focused on is on that control hand um, it's just nice and comfortable moving on to the trigger trigger triggers a nice firm pull on the trigger I definitely um, we've we've tested it a couple of times definitely a nice firm pull um, but they do have serrations on the face of the trigger and that's a nice little feature that you don't have on most weapon systems as far as AR styles uh, that's usually they're a smooth faced um, moving to the front side um, again as I stated the handguard is not a polymer handguard it is an aluminum quad rail and then out front we have your um, uh, 360 degree birdcage flash hider uh, very nice um, the barrel is an 8.6 inch barrel so that's going to give you uh, some really nice accurate shots out to range and then on the top side we have some very robust flip up sights um, they just they've got the little push button uh, kind of what we're familiar with with some of our other flip up sites um, and, and they've paid special attention to these sites you have little incremental adjustment marks on the rear side and also you have our one MOA adjustment settings reminders on the sides of these um, sites and the are these are metal sites these are not polymer sites so they, they're very sturdy overall this weapon system super excited to get it out but this is a very solid built AR pistol um, or I should say a PCC and uh, super excited to get it out to the range um, <clears throat> if this is something that you're interested in Look us up at americantrailhead.com, and if you have any comments or any questions about this system, go ahead and uh, put that in the comment section down below. Thank you.